Hi everybody, my name is Perry. this is our cat Luna and today we will be watching Game of Thrones season 6 episode 4. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back another Game of Thrones recording day for me. I have some time to watch a couple of episodes. I was gonna say that we just had a nice play session so that she probably will be asleep for a bit. But as what I'm seeing right now, there's no way to predict when her energy is gonna explode. So we shall see. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get into it. If you like these reactions, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, full reactions are available on Patreon for you to watch along with me. Let's go! You swore a vow. Aye, I pledge my life to the Night's Watch. I gave my life. For all nights to come. They killed me, Ed, my own brothers. Yeah, to be fair, I wouldn't want to see either. <laughs> oh my god, they actually are gonna meet. Oh my god, finally we have to start reuniting. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Finally! Oh, is that what we're all waiting for? Just like a little bit stark love. I spent a lot of time thinking about what an ass I was to you. We were children. I was awful, just admit it. <laughs> Where will you go? Where will we go? Yeah, thank God! There's only one place we can go. Well, should we tell the Boltons to pack up and leave? We'll take it back from them. Wait. How? If we don't take back the North, we'll never be safe. But I'll do it myself if I have to. Will you stay here at Castle Black? I will do as Jon Snow commands. She found a new leader, yeah. <laughs> My lady, I'm Sir Davos Seaworth. We've met before. I was King's Guard to Renly Baratheon before Renly was assassinated with blood magic. That's in the past now. <laughs> Awkward. He admitted it, you know. Who did? Stannis, just before I executed him. Oh. She's so like. Oh, him again. Not one of these amazing personalities. The defender of the veil. Uncle Peter. <gasps> cool. On our way to the fingers, we were set upon by a large force of Bolton men. Seemed to know exactly when we were traveling and exactly whom we were transporting. Do you take me for a fool? Mm, yes, <laughs> probably he does. How many people knew of my travel plans with Sansa Stark? I shared my intentions with you and no one else. Oh no, he's setting him up. The Lord of the Vale stands before us, and only his judgment concerns me. Should we throw him through the moon door? Whoa, this dude has no chill. If we could trust his absolute loyalty, he would make a capable commander in the wars to come. This is so dangerous though, because yeah, now he's like, oh, I'm only alive because of Baelish. He could also be like, F Baelish, I don't trust his and turn against him. My friends in the north tell me Sansa has escaped Winterfell. I expect she's headed to Castle Black, where her brother serves as Lord Commander. But she won't be safe there. Not with the Boltons after her. We should help her. That was my instinct as well. We came here to meet the Queen, and instead we're greeted by a dwarf and a eunuch. <laughs> you don't need slaves to make money. There haven't been slaves in Westeros for hundreds of years, and I grew up richer than any of you. Um. Instead of abolishing slavery overnight, we will give you seven years to end the practice. You will cut off your support for the Sons of the Harpy. We do not support the Sons of the Harpy. Fine, fine. You will cut it off all the same. <laughs> and as a parting gift to our honored guests. She's not liking it. We know Torgonudu. We fight with him against the Masters. We trust him. And that is exactly why Grey Worm took part in these negotiations. But he is not. Oh, he doesn't like it. I feel like they're gonna do a little bit of a uh, mini uprising. You have Sylvia Vala Mera if a thread us. Verdi Jelisk Ilvi Krenunta. I love this. I don't think you could ride the dragon. What? Our queen. She's wild, you know. Don't let her size fool you. It's hard enough for me, and I'm a young man. Whoa, so disrespectful. Dario, jeez. There's a hundred thousand of them down there. We can't fight our way out. We wait till dark. And then we'll find her. Acting as a trader without wares also looks weird, no. <laughs> Our trader, what do you have to offer? Nothing. <gasps> you know what happens? I know what happens. How long does he go? Oh my god, spotted immediately. <laughs> Oh, 
No! Oh my god! I told you. Very attached to this knife. I thought he was dead. If they find a body with a stab wound, the whole city will be looking for us. I need to find her now. Oh! Jesus! Whoa! <sighs> I need to make water it was a translation oh she's making friends no, don't hurt her you give us away we have to go now we will never get out of face of track alive all we can do is try true why not try we can do more than that and you're going to help me and I want to free all the women oh no let's go and see him Hey. Your brother. Loris. Oh my god. Loris. Oh man. They want me to help, but tell you don't. And if either of us give in to what they want, then they win. Let's win. Oh man. They're in a whole different phase of the fight. Like their resilience is a little bit different at this point. It's done it's in the past. And of course, Marjorie's safety is paramount. You don't like Marjorie, do you? Oh, he finally gets it. There's something I want to tell you. Something the High Sparrow told me. I am your mother. You can always trust me. Don't trust her. The Sparrows have many friends in this city. We'll have civil war. Many will die. Better them than us. Look at her. Look at them. Sticking together. He let you go. I escaped. Men died trying to rescue you. I'm sorry. Oh. He broke me into a thousand pieces. I know. You don't know. He sent us one of those pieces. <laughs> Make it perfectly clear that we understand each other. You think any Ironborn wants you to be king? After what you've done? Does he want to be king? No. Tell me what you want. Have a you family. You should the Iron Let me help you. Yes! You've seen my banners. The flayed man. Does that worry you at all? You eat them after. No. And I've seen worse. Oh no. He's gonna like that, but also in a weird way. In a like, shall I hurt you first to see if you respond type of way. The Starks have been gone for a long time, but you kept protecting Rickon. He fetched a good price to the right buyer. Way I see it, I'm old. She's good. Rickon's not yours to sell anymore. So what use could I possibly have for you? I can give you what you want. And you're sure you know what that is? Crazy sex. You're a much better talker than Theon Greyjoy. That's so. Yeah. Well. You tell me everything. All uh -oh. about the Stark boys and who helped them escape. Oh, quick. <laughs> no way. Fuck. No way. Oh, he makes me sick. <laughs> to the traitor and Buster John Snow. Winterfell is mine, Bastard. Come and see. Your brother Rickon is in my dodge. Yep. And they go. <laughs> you will watch as my soldiers take turns raping your sister. You will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother, Ramsay Bolton, Lord of Winterfell. What a piece of shit. Lord of the <laughs> of the North. His father's dead. Oh yeah, they didn't know you. A monster has taken our home and our brother. We have to go back to Winterfell and save them both. Go, John! In the mold of my million to see. She's a midget. Head off, I mean. Just to they're so disrespectful. Even Dalen Hrazef and Haman, Finia Davrana, Chatnayati Hanavin, Fitalen Hrazef. Big little girl. Huh? Fini Maliso. Hashir Majile Maeje. Ma Kal Drogo. I miss Drogo still. Naraji Kesi, my Mavijazri at Narma. Was man, I was Hal. Whoa, girl! She's telling them that they're not fit to rule the Dothraki and she is crazy! Yes! Khaleesi uses fire beam. Burning hell, assholes. <laughs> She just did that. She just got all the calls. For the badass. 
The thing is though, will all the people not be sad about this too? Like, will they just accept the leader that killed their important people? Well, and she's gonna step out. Oh, yes! This fire trick, man. Works at every party. <laughs> Have goosebumps. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I immediately want to get into the next one. So much is happening. What is John gonna do? What is Daenerys gonna do? Oh, uh, I wish Ramsay had not killed her. No update about Bran. Also interesting with the Knights of the Vale that are gonna start fighting. I feel like it's all building up right now. You had so much story, 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 and now we're going towards the decision making seasons in terms of who's gonna make it and who's not gonna make it so this is gonna be super interesting i hope you like this reaction if you do make sure to like and subscribe i'm gonna just put on the next episode i'll see you in the next one bye hi everybody my name is mary this is my cat luna and today we will be watching game of thrones season 6 episode 5 let's go Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna watch episode five of season six. I feel like we're fully into it, right? I'm so excited because I feel like we're at a major point in the series where you can see the characters, I think, who were lost until the end develop and get their armies together and make decisions and start to interact with each other more. So I'm very excited to see what the army of the Vale is gonna do, what Jon is gonna do, what the Daenerys is gonna do. I feel like they're all at very key moments right now and no clue where they're gonna go. So yeah, let's get into this one. Far is Molestown? You solar, dude. Lady Brienne. When I heard you'd escaped Winterfell, I feared the worst. Literally put her in the hands of a predator. What do you think he did? I can't begin to contemplate. What do you think he did to me? He beat you. Yes, he enjoyed that. What else do you think he did? Sansa, I don't... What else? Did he cut you? Big one. Your great uncle, Brendan, the Blackfish, has gathered what remains of the Tully forces and retaken River Run. The time may come when you need an army loyal to you. I have an army. Your brother's army. Oh, that was so unnecessary. You're not ready. He has a really good creepy smile. Whoa. They founded the free city of Bravos and built this house. These were the faces they wore in life. And now a girl is one of them, if a girl desires. Great answer. An actress who calls herself Lady Crane. She performs at the theater in Shiva Square. A girl has been given a second chance. Hers or yours? Scary. Is there no like, why her? <laughs> that roll. He brought you here, Ned Stark, because you're the brightest fellow in the land. You should be king of us all, and I should be your hand. I'd ask him for permission, but he smells too bloody awful. That must be so painful. Oh no. I hope they don't do the chopping off the head type of part. Good people, you may all relax. My father's friend shall be spared this. Huh? You'll learn that what I lack in height, I make up for in appetite. Oh! So let's forget about your plight. I just realized that she might not be aware of all of this. May I get you some wine, Lady Crane? I'm a rum girl, Bobono. That if we're going to be intimate. Of course we're going to be intimate. It's only a matter of time. To our children. Do, do you want that for your children? <laughs> the younger actress. She's jealous because Lady Crane is better. The girl must decide if she wants to serve the many-faced god. The girl has decided. She's like, damn it, you got me there. Whoa! I would be running. You made the White Walkers. We were at war. We needed to defend ourselves. From whom? From you. Don't look at me, I'm just ahead. <laughs> I am queen, we will build a fleet. The you cannot be queen. I am not finished. Yes, you are. A woman will not lead us. Why would they support him though? Like just because he's a guy, he basically ran off with another family, then he ran off again. He didn't want to come back when they tried to save him. Like there's no reason except for his dongers, which is not there anymore, that they would want to support him. I am Theon Greyjoy, last living son of Balon Greyjoy. I... And she is your rightful ruler. You know what she is. She is a reaver. She is a warrior. I have goosebumps. Jesus. <laughs> we will find no better leader. 
at least he done something right now, right? Well, the redemption arcs of some of these characters. I'm Euron Greyjoy. I claim the Salt Throne. Is that? I'm glad you're here. Now I know what my first act as queen will be. He plays in a super famous series from more of the northern, the Borgen and the Killing. That's where I'm going from. There is a person who hates the great lords of Westeros just as much as we do. Someone with a large army and no husband. And I'm going to get him right over and give it to Daenerys Targaryen along with my big cock. Oh no, they're gonna pick him. Together we're going to take the Seven Kingdoms. I wasn't born to be king. I paid the iron price. No way. Why would you pick someone that you can completely not... Like, they don't know him, Why? Right? He's just talks at this point. <laughs> Oh, why would you want to be ironborn though? Like it looks all so uncomfortable. Stone, salt, iron, cold, storms. <laughs> what is dead may never die. What is dead may never die. Where are my niece and nephew? They're so next level though. A lot of support for them, right? It's not like they like need to run with one boat. I want every man bending planks. I want every woman spinning flax for sails. Build me a thousand ships and I will give you this world. And the contrast. How long does it take? We'll see what happens when it goes far enough. I'll end things before that. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Goodbye, Galici. She's like... <laughs> So confusing. I command you to heal yourself. When I take the seven kingdoms, I need you by my side. I'm gonna be completely honest, but I, I'm a bit uh, with their interactions because I'm like, you send him a mate twice though. Oh no, he loves you. That's not really new. And I get his loyalty, but it also comes to a point of like, he came back again to save her and go back to re Like, it, I'm sorry. The people know who brought them freedom. Yes, but do they know who brought them security? Who brought about an end to the violence. Grey Worm. Someone they know cannot be bought or influenced. <gasps> Her, nice. Where will we find him? Who said anything about him? Oh, I'm compl I completely was wrong. Knowledge has made you powerful, but there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night? God, what is this about? She really got to him. Look at his face. Interesting. I feel like there's so much more with this whole thing with her. The red lady as well, like that old lady suddenly that we saw. Like, what was that all about? I also have no clue how they're gonna connect this to the story. There's a few things that I'm like, sideline stories that I'm like, are they gonna interfere with the main story? What the hell? Ah. Yeah, I would fully just walk into that group instead of turning around and running away. <laughs> oh, waking up? Yeah. Dagos, it was nightmare. He knows you are here. He'll come for you. But he can't get in. He can now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. What? They may well be loyal. But how many rose up against the Boltons when they betrayed your family? I may not know the North, but I know men. They're more or less the same in any corner of the world. Yeah. Uh, they remember the Stark name. People will still risk everything for it from White Harbor to Ramsey's own door. But John doesn't have the Stark name. No, but I do. Little trauma there. <laughs> what is it? I don't like leaving you here alone. With John? Not him. <laughs> Seems trustworthy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> John isn't Davos or the Red Woman or Stannis for that matter. John is John. Then why did you lie to him when he asked you how you learned about River Run? Wow. Oh, the small boys all grown up. Oh. Good luck. Oh, the costumes and music. Should we close the gate, Lord Commander? I'm not the Lord Commander. Really? He's like, oh God, responsibility. <laughs> Get ran! Wake up! Yeah, they're just chilling. Oh. <laughs> Do you wanna feel the snowman? Ah, oh, they stay behind it. Okay, so that's something. Remember that you are a Stark and try to stay out of fights. Yes, father. But if you have to fight, 
win. There's no time. Go, 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 go. We have to wake up. We need Hodor. 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 We all need Hodor now. Oh my god, do something. <gasps> nice. Oh, she's going for it. No. No. Oh my god. Can you hold it? Hodor? Oh man, that one hurts. That one hurts a lot. Oh my god, it's... Whoa, I honestly never thought that I didn't want to know the answer to why he only says Hodor. And then it's so mind-boggling as well, because that's what he's been doing for all of his life. To this, to come to this moment, where he just sacrificed our oh, gentle giant. Oh, that, that feels so harsh. That like he never did anything wrong and he just his whole life turned into this purpose at that moment when he was still a kid. God, I'm just, I need, I need a little bit of a break. I might record further in a little bit, but I need to step away for a second because this is just horrible. I hope you like this reaction. It's so difficult to do this when it's such a hard one. Yeah, so if you want to see the next ones too, I'm gonna stop brief for a second. <laughs> Bye! Hi everybody, my name is Mary. These are my cats, Seal and Luna. I will be watching Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 6. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back. After the last episode, I stepped away for a couple of hours. I was gonna do full on binge watch, but after that scene with Hodor, I honestly broke down a little bit. So I had to step away. So a couple of hours later, it's so hard because normally I'm like, I'm so excited for the next episode. Why right now I'm just a bit broken, I guess. So we shall see how it goes. I feel like after a shock like that, I cannot imagine another shock, but it will just be weird to see it all play out. Especially that the, the word had such a meaning. Anyway, let's get into this one i hope you like this reaction if you do make sure to like and subscribe and as always full reactions you can find on patreon there i post a full length reaction she's liquid i swear to god let's get into this one can he come back though on his own without the man in the tree where's my sister Oh, he has like this compilation of bad things that happened in his head. Great. Yes. They found us. Oh, thank you for this helpful information. I was really close. You're nervous. You're a nervous talker. Well, that's not any better She's being so, mute. so nice. You didn't tell them I'm a wildling. My father doesn't like wildlings. He hoped I'd make a man of myself by killing some bloody wildlings, so it's probably a good subject to avoid. At least she's for prepared for her father-in-law. Sam. Oh, hello, mother. Father says I have to marry Simon Fossaway. He has yellow teeth. That's and... enough, Tyler. Help me, Sam. This is Gilly. You are lovely. This is our son, Sam Rush. It's me, your grandmother. Look how happy he acts. Must be wanting a bath after all that travel. Oh, and a dress for dinner. In light blue or silver. <laughs> She's gonna put her in all the clothes all at the same time. So far, so good, I guess. She'll be protected the entire way. The faith militant are very stern with those who overstep their bounds. So I've already stayed in their bounds the last time. Would you like to see her? This is gonna be interesting. I've had lots of time to think about how good I was at seeming good. The gods have a plan for us all. Is this a act? Oh my god, this is so awkward. Oh my god, didn't recognize her at first. 
What are they doing? Very tasty. Is it from today's one? This is last week's. Brought it down from 70 yards. One shot. Oh, you're amazing. We once met a man, Lord Umber from Last Hearth, wasn't it, Randall? Who said he taught all his daughters how to hunt. Your father taught you to hunt? Our father would never teach us. Yikes. Samuel, would you care for more bread? Oh, um, yes. Yes, please. Thank you, Mother. Not fat enough already. What the hell? You ought to be, um, missed up. Yes, and, and, and once I have my chain, I'll return to Castle Black. I thought the Night's Watch might make a man of you. It's what the fuck is your problem? Spending your life reading about the achievements of better men. To be maester of the Night's Watch is a great honor. He can wield a sword. Uh oh. He killed a sen. Here she goes. He risked his own life to save mine more than once. He's a greater warrior than either of you will ever be. Yeah. Where did he kill a White Walker? Oh no. Where? North of the wall. North of the wall. You're a wildling. You're a jerk. <laughs> I took you for a mole's town hall when I saw you and I made my peace with that. Who else would have him? Because you're getting back at me, boy. Bringing that to my table and making me dine with it. I think he's going to freak out. I think he's going to tilt. I've lost my appetite. Good are you. You dishonor yourself. Yes. Oh my God, I like her. I was like... It might be hard to speak up if he's been this abusive his whole life. To maybe her, to maybe the children too. But good on her. The bastard. You'll be raised here. And this will be the last night you ever spend at Horn Hill. I'll take your kid, but you need to go. What the hell? Say goodbye to him for me. Oh. Goodbye, Hilly. Oh, this is heartbreaking. In another way, I'm like, oh, at least they're safe now. But then I'm like, are they though? With that, like, I don't trust that guy whatsoever. Sam? We're leaving. What? What? <gasps> Sam, that's your father's sword. It's my family sword. <laughs> oh man, the one thing that he wants to pick is like a sword. It's gonna be super helpful though in the future, right? Dear uncle, will you share my joy and be my royal cup bearer? Drink long and deep, my noble king. Poor face is like butchered. Ah. Uh, season four, episode two. Oh, three. Oh, she's already ready to take the part. But that's so that's so straightforward, though. Like that's predictable, and Game of Thrones is not predictable at all. So weird, right? To just take their life without reason, without knowing who from. You're very good. My final speech is shit. But to be fair to myself, which I always like to be. Oh, she needs to get out. The queen loves her son more than anything. She would be angry. She would want to kill the person who did this to her. Speaking from experience. You have very expressive eyes, Mercy. Do you like pretending to be other people? This is so tense. I knew it. Oh, that was... Careful of that one. Oh my god, Arya, you... She wants you dead. Oh, I don't want to know the consequences. He's gonna get Needle. Yeah. As I expected. Shame. You promised me. She can do it. Don't let her suffer. Psycho. For being nobody and having no will, she really wants to get Aria. She better not die like this, right? I still feel like with her storyline, I'm missing the integration with the others. So if she just gets killed now, then what was this for? I don't want her to be dead. Like I've thought that before and then they died, so. Marjorie of House Tyrell. She turned a blind eye to her brother's sins. She disgraced her house and herself. I do feel it's weird that she gets punished this bad for not snitching on her brother. Oh no, she's gonna want to do it. She's gonna be like, let me do it, mother. There will be no walk of atonement. <laughs> Mommy Tyrell is pissed off. We announce a new age of harmony between the crown and the faith. Why not do that immediately? Why wait for the whole charade to announce this? That's his son though. Oh my god. I have to answer to the gods. 
not when you're sitting in that chair. Crown's decision on this matter is final. Will I be walking naked in the streets? <laughs> you have served your house and your king faithfully for many years, and you will continue to do so, but not in this city. Imagine if that's your kid. Oh my god. I'm going to give Bran the largest bag of gold anyone has ever seen. And have him gather the best killers he knows. Bye, Big Sparrow. I'll remove the High Sparrow. A High Sparrow. Sorry. <laughs> we should treat them without mercy, and we will. But if you kill the High Sparrow, you won't need the Sept alive, and without you, this is all for nothing. Wasn't she gonna lose her three kids? Isn't that what the rich said? You'll stand trial soon. I need to be here for you. It will be a trial by combat. I have the mountain. I hope you won't see smashed in skulls this time. You weren't made to sit on a chair in a palace. What was I made for? You're a conqueror, Daenerys Stormborn. Wait here. Why go first alone, conqueror? Anna Dothrakman. I was Anna Gina. That's a big dragon. <gasps> Mother of dragons. Yeah, I would fight for her. This, I would be like, yeah, we have a good chance. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> She's so good at this public speaking thing. <laughs> Remember her crazy brother? Yeah, me neither. That was sick. Oh, I was gonna stop now, but I kinda want to watch one more or two more. So no. Oh, that was so nice. I see three of those, so not even one. Okay, I'm gonna wa watch one more. I'm so bad, but I think it's also a normal feeling, so I'm not gonna feel too guilty about it. I hope you liked this reaction. I feel like my speech is always the same, but if you did like it, please like it and subscribe if you want to see next one's full reactions to the full length reaction. Anyway, if you want to see the full reaction, you can do it over on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one.